Hey everyone and welcome to another beautiful Tuesday, which means Movie Tuesday. And uh, today I went and saw a movie that I probably would not have went and seen had I not, or had not been for this channel. I think I said that right. But uh, if you haven't, you know, figured it out by now from the thumbnail, that movie is The Happy Time Murders. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of Melissa, M Melissa McCartney. I don't think that she's that funny. I think that she has funny moments, but uh, I'm just not a fan. What can you do? You're just not a fan of people sometimes. Um, but I went and saw this. Me, Damien, Emilio went and checked it out, went to our favorite movie theater had some beers over there because they serve beer there which is nice it was on like the giant screen which i thought was a little bit much but i guess there's just nothing else really out right now to take up that spot which sucks because i kind of like the smaller theaters over there they have you know reclining seats and stuff but we didn't have that this time but it's okay um i guess we'll get started on this spoiler review for the happy time murders so let me first start by saying that if you're still here that you're okay with spoilers and secondly if you've ever seen who framed roger rabbit you're going to already pretty much know this movie the plot for this movie just take all the cartoon characters from who framed roger rabbit and replace them with puppets and now you have who framed roger rabbit except their roles are reversed the human is kind of the goofball like with you know I mean, in Roger Rabbit, he had a laugh problem, or he needed laughs and to make people laugh. In this one, she's a sugar addict, when the puppet is like the very serious detective. And it has, you know, some underlying stuff to it about like, you know, racism and prejudice, and everybody's very prejudiced against puppets, and the, the puppet detective was the first puppet cop ever, and then he messed up on the job. Melissa McCartney's his ex-partner, she testified against him, so they do not get along, and then now come the happy time murders which the cop his brother was a member of this television show called the happy time gang which had like six puppets i think and then elizabeth banks character who was the only human on the show and it was like revolutionary because it was the first tv show with puppets and humans and now these puppets that were on the show are starting to get killed off the first one gets is a rabbit on, a rabbit puppet. He gets killed in a porn shop where the cop actually happens to be at the time because he's investigating a separate, because he's a PI now, he's not a cop anymore. So he's investigating a private like matter and he happens to be at the porn shop when one of the characters get killed. And uh, his brother, like I said, was a part of this television show too. And then his brother gets killed and then they start noticing a trend that it's the Happy Time Murders from the Happy Time Gang. And uh, the, the cop and the puppet, P.I., get put together and they have to, you know, solve this crime together again. And it's just a buddy cop type of movie. Like I said, if you've seen Roger Rabbit, you know exactly how it works. Um, they reluctantly have to figure out who it is and then they figure out, oh my god, like I've really, you know, I've really just cared for you this whole time. I'm sorry that all this happened, blah, 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 trying to put substance and depth into this story that doesn't really need it. Um, it was a pretty cool uh, cop, like mystery movie at first and with just dashes of comedy. I chuckled a couple of times, it made me laugh. Um, as time goes on, I figured out who the killer was or who, you know, part of the killer was because it was actually a duo that were doing it. Um, Damien actually figured out who the main killer was beforehand and even leaned over and told me and normally I always am there first but Damien got me this time and uh, you find out that the PI's private case had to do with his past and someone setting him up because you find out later that he gets thrown off the force because he missed a shot it was an accident people think he did it on purpose and it ricocheted and hit a uh, innocent civilian puppet in the head and he died and he had his daughter puppet with him and turns out she's the killer so if you're still here and you heard all that that is big spoilers i'm sorry but uh you knew what you signed up for so it's kind of you know just a typical mystery drama but they threw in aspects of comedy and then you know it was funny like i said i laughed a couple of times but it is nothing outrageous it's, and like i said i've just never been a huge fan of melissa mccartney on top of it the funniest part to me about this was it's a movie about prejudice and racism racism against puppets and i went to go look up the actor well not you know the actor but the voice of the puppet 
And even on IMDb, it's segregated from humans to puppets, so that was pretty funny to me. And uh, you have to scroll down quite a bit to learn that Bill Beretta is the voice of Phil Phillips. And it doesn't even say voice, really, so he could have just been the, the puppet master, you know? But they have all the, the cast of humans on there first, and then it goes down in the way bottom. It has the puppets, which I thought was pretty funny. But, uh, so, I guess I have to give a review or, uh, you know, an honest number for the whole thing, and I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. Like, I would never have seen this movie in theaters if it wasn't for you guys. So, uh, don't go see it in theaters, I guess, I guess is what I'm trying to th say. Wait for it to come out on Netflix or, you know, I mean, for those of you who have fire sticks, you can watch it if you want, but I wouldn't, I'm not going to recommend it to anyone probably. I'll probably just ask them if they want to know, uh, like what the plot's like, and I'll tell them uh, to frame Roger Rabbit with puppets, because that's exactly what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Go check out a movie. I'll see you guys tomorrow.